Welcome to Interiors Insider. Um, for those who don't know me, uh, if you're joining the replay or if you're here live, thank you for coming. Um, I'm Kylie Tyrrell. I am an interior designer, um, a career change mum actually, interior designer. So about 13 years ago, I decided to explore this passion I had for interior design. Um, and now I run a program where I mentor um, career change mums or design graduates who are wanting to branch out and just start their own business um, or explore a little bit more about um, this career. Um, or, you know, sometimes people start out as a bit of a side hustle as well. So they want to just get into it and see whether they um, can understand or have got what it takes to actually get their business up and running themselves. So today is very informal. If you've got a question, please let me know. I'm happy to ask, um, answer any questions you may have that come up. Um, or if you're watching the replay and you have a question, then you can always DM me um, at Interiors Insider. Um, and I'm really happy to uh, either answer you on that or send me an email, really up to you. But very informal session, and I thought it'd be really nice to do this because um, I get asked often, um, you know, how did I start? What did I do? And um, yeah, just what does it take and what do you need to get this business up and running? So. Just as a very, I'm going to um, put up some slides. So I'm going to share a screen with you and I'm um, just going to run through some slides, which will just keep me a little bit on track and make sure that I answer everything for you. Um, so just let me find my... Um, and again, let me know if you... Um, present on the full screen if you've got any questions and I'll attempt to answer them for you okay um okay and so exploring a career in interior um, design so yeah as I said Kylie Tyrrell 13 years ago I left my corporate role um well, 13 years ago, probably 16 years ago, I left the corporate role. I, uh, my background is marketing and retail buying. So I had a very, um, I left school in year 12, after year 12, and I worked my way up into the buying office at Maya and held some various different buying roles. I also went back to school and studied marketing while I was at Maya. Um, which I absolutely loved and I love marketing my business today. Um, and I um, proceeded to uh, probably do that role from the age of about 18, I left school, till I was about 27, I about 30 actually, I was buying full. So, um, and what really changed for me um, is I, I had a background of always being quite creative. Um, I loved um, interiors. I loved changing my room around. I loved moving the house around. Um, I loved magazines. I just loved doing things with my hands. And I think I also had a very creative mum. She was a florist. So, you know, I would spend many weekends watching her um, and, you know, Valentine's Days, and Mother's Days creating flowers and using flowers to create these things and weddings. Um, so I feel like I did always have a bit of creativeness inside me. Um, and interiors was always something that I loved and always something that my friends always told me um, or always got me to help them with. Um, and so I guess I was setting up my own home, doing lots of stuff, but also feeling like, maybe there were other people that would actually ask me to do stuff for them as well. So um, Interiors Insider was born um, probably three years ago once I had been doing interior design for about 13 years. 
And I decided to explore uh, or start Interiors Insider because when I first started my business, there was no one in the industry really willing to share or give you some really nitty gritty information. So by nitty gritty, I mean like taking you behind the, the scenes of their business or pulling back the curtains on their business and showing you how they priced, how they sent proposals to clients, uh, how they presented concepts to clients, um, just all of the stuff that they would do on a regular basis, no one really actually showed you how to do. So a lot of it for me, I had stumbled my way through and learnt um, what to do just by finding my own way and Googling and, um, yeah, finding some people here and there that may have been willing to share. Um, but I'm going to just take you back a few steps before that. Um, so as I said before, this session's for you if you're thinking of a career change, you're recently graduated or have no idea what to do next, or you want to explore the industry and explore your creativity. And really, you know, there are two people in Interiors Insider. They are the career change mum, who was me, and then they are also the design graduate. Well, there's three. There's the career change mum, there's the design graduate who's young, and then there's the design graduate who has decided to go back to night school or day school and study interior design, but is still not confident enough to set up their business, okay? So um, they're the three people that are currently that I'm servicing and helping them get their goal and their dream up and running. So the goal of our time together is to help you make a decision and give you some more knowledge about this industry and just give you a bit of a background story to me and how I started my business. So I am um, self-taught. I did go back to school when the kids were young, and I'll explain that a little bit in a moment, but I did go back to school and start interior design at school at a place called NMIT, which no longer exists, um, and it was a TAFE course. And I did that one night a week, and really I did that to get out of the house, and to find my identity again, um, I left this big corporate role where I, uh, you know, had an amazing job to be a stay-at-home mum. And it was Groundhog Day. It was literally Groundhog Day. I had three kids at home, no real support or family support. Uh, my parents lived, you know, five hours away. And it was really hard for me to... Um, Number one, we didn't have the money to send the kids into um, childcare and I had to do, and I really wanted to be at home with them. So although I would probably do things a little bit differently if I had my time over, I don't think I would stay at home with the kids so much. I might probably try and, try and balance that a little bit more now knowing what I know, but that was my reality. So Design school for me started as a opportunity to get out of the house and explore and do something for me, okay, to take, to find my identity again. I knew I wasn't going to go back to retail buying and marketing. I knew that I could really only do that job full time and fully committed. And I knew that my lifestyle had changed and I needed to find something that would fit in with my lifestyle. Okay, so hence I chose this creativity or this um, career that allowed me to be creative but I also knew I was good at it but the big thing that I found um, out was that 20% of small businesses fail in the first year because they're not set up right they don't have the support structure they don't have the network and moving on from that 50% more do not survive beyond five years. And this stat is even worse for female-led businesses. So I started seeing this and I started really starting to feel a little bit shitty about it, to be honest. I was like, you know, we females, we need to be able to, um, you know, run our family, have children, hold a career and, you know, make money and be independent while we were doing that. And so I really was on a mission to find a way to do that. And I wanted to find some independence for myself. And I also wanted to explore 
um, and feel feel um, worthy and feel like I was contributing in some way as well. So I explored interior design. Yes, here are my three children. Um, this was about at the time that I decided to go back to school and study this. I had these three at home. Um, so Amelia is the oldest, then Samuel, then Matthew. Um, and it was, like I said, a challenging time. I decided that I um, was going to go back to school and really make a, a go of this. But I also remember at the same time sort of feeling like, how on earth am I going to get any clients? How am I going to start this actual role? And what am I going to do to get there? Um, and so I thought that I, I had a, a friend who was at Kinder and she was a photographer. So I got her to take some photos of me um, doing, you know, just doing some shots um, just so I could feel more confident in offering my services to people uh, and charging money for them because I was doing a lot of jobs for free. Um, but also, yeah, to get some confidence in myself. And also, you know, this was a win-win. I was giving her um, portfolio work and she was also helping me get a little bit more professional in um, starting out in my career. So this tap started very much um, fresh here. Uh, probably a really, really quite nervous when I look back at this. Um, yes, everyone says to me, you know, well, are you really blonde or dark? So I, I am a brunette, uh, but over the years I've transitioned to a blonde, um, mainly to cover up my grey hair. But, um, yeah, this, this part of Kylie was really nervous. She was very much willing to give it a shot, didn't know how she was going to get there, but really... Um, decided to take imperfect action and if I could say anything I think that's the one thing that will get you from where you are today to where you will be is just taking imperfect action okay so just putting one foot in front of the other and seeing where you go so um yeah that was me 13 years ago and then here I am you know a year ago um and it's been a really fun ride. It has. I've learned so much in my um, journey. Um, I started when I was thinking about, you know, how do I start? What parts do I, what do I need to do? I really felt like I had to move through my fear um, of not being um, good enough, not who do I think I am, putting in a title of interior designer or interior stylist. Um, what I needed to learn and how I needed to grow. So there was a real, we all start here and we move through this, um, these zones and each zone comes a new thing that we need to move through, okay? So a new ceiling um, and we need to really push ourselves through these learning zones um, and fear zones and growth zones so that we can get to the other side and get to where we want to be and feel good about what we're doing. So I decided to start here, move through my fear and just jump. And like I said, I started taking imperfect action. Um, I had business cards made up. I had photography done. And I started telling everyone I knew what I was doing. So that started off with, you know, the kinder group offering um, a free consult for their fundraisers. It started by getting involved in, um, you know, my husband's footy uh, group or cricket club. It just started by telling friends and family that I was doing this. And it also started by me documenting it. So I set up an Instagram account. I started documenting it. And then I guess where it really started gaining a little bit of traction was my brother and sister-in-law were selling their house. So I went in there and I helped set up their house, house for sale. Um, so I used a lot of pieces that I would had. I rearranged their furniture. Um, I put in lots of props. I got flowers. And the first thing I did was when they got the real estate agency and I made sure that I was there so that I could meet them and talk about that, talk to them about what I was doing. And maybe they could see, um, I could offer them something that maybe um, they were wanting. 
Um, and I was really lucky. I persevered and I got in with one of them. She was a female real estate agent and she really gave me my first um, look in. And that's where I started styling homes to sell. And so from there, I got my first really big job. And guess what? I had no experience. I got this job on just saying, getting my mindset in there and saying I could do it. And I had no idea how I was going to pull it together. But again, it was imperfect action moving forward. So I did it and I um, called on as many people as I could. And look, looking back at that first job now, it was really imperfect. I would, I almost cringe looking back on it. But at the time, I learned so much. I learned how to move forward. I gained confidence. And from that job led to another job, to another job, to another job. And it really gave me the confidence to move forward and decide what I was going to do and how I was going to do this job. So a lot of your work you will begin to understand is your mindset and you need to surround yourself with a community of like-minded women. It is almost paramount to your success. So we want to surround ourselves. I guess my biggest thing here is I did this by myself. It took me way longer than it should have. Um, and it, there were a lot of frustrations along the way. And I guess today what I'm saying is you don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Uh, from doing this and seeing so many women freeze and not having the independence that they need to explore their creativity or do what they love, I set up this business called Interiors Insider after a love of doing this and wanting to share more in this industry. So really, you know, if you've had anything to do with this industry, you will know that it's fairly tight-lipped. A lot of people don't share and I want to change that, okay? I want to change um, the whole thing about getting your business up and running, sharing, being surrounded by like-minded women, and that by doing that, you can really um, accelerate your journey and set up properly from the start. Um, still, imperfect action always wins, so you're not going to be 100% perfect, but at least by having the support and the mentorship um, and knowing that there's someone there to support you every step of the way is going to help you. So some of the things that I teach in the program are um, how to get your interior design business up to 100K. Because I know from experience that we need to be earning quite a bit of money to get a business up and running because of all the expenses that come along as well, okay? So the first couple of things that I get you to do is create your business name. Get a separate business account set up. Get yourself either or you a bookkeeper and get your legals done. So we go through all of that in the program. We get your Insta page up and running, optimised. We get you posting consistently. Um, we make sure that your content is reaching the client that you want to attract. We get some professional photography and I explained to you earlier how I started getting mine at the start. We get you up and running on a basic website. We get your email address up. We try and get you some professional, um, start you on some professional logo and branding colors and fonts using Canva. We get you an investment guide up and running so you know what to charge, what services to offer um, and how you're different to everybody else. We work on your mind set. So we do that together. And also I give you podcasts we're part of a mastermind and community um, and we really make sure that your mindset is top um, of mind all the time and that you're working on it and keeping yourself elevated. I help you with a marketing plan so that you know what to do, when to do it. And I also work on a hashtag formula that's going to help you um, make sure that your posts and Instagram are reaching the right people. So... That's really a little bit about me. I am a self-taught designer. I didn't finish design school. I started there. Family things came up. A lot of people in the program are self-taught. There are some in the program that are also um, graduated from design school or are currently at design school and really want to know 
want to, to surround themselves in a community that's going to support them through their growth or just really want to explore this idea of a career change and how to go about it. So Interiors Insider was born. That's what I do. Um, today's an information session about my journey. I want to make it easier for everyone so that when they decide, is this for me, they can see, well, it is possible for me to do this without spending, you know, nine grand at or nine to ten grand at design school. You can do this. If you have a flair and, and a creative um, style sense, I can show you how to set your business up. OK, I have a 12 month mental program, Interiors Insider. You work with me. It's an intimate group. You work with me for 12 months. It's everything you need. There are live videos in there of each module. There are um, video uh, interviews that I do with a lot of um, everyday designers on how they set their business up, how they price themselves. I really take you behind the scenes of my business and everyone else's that I work with. Um, and we really get you set up and help you get set up for success quickly. So Interiors Insider really is everything you need to know to get your business up and running and taking on clients. It's also about overcoming imposter syndrome, getting you confident, making you feel confident in approaching your clients and giving you a community of support. So there are two options to the program. You can pay in full for the 12 months um, and that is 1997 to pay in full or you can join for 187 a month. And what happens with that is you get content dropped to you every single month. So it's drip fed, um, you have uh, immediate access to the course content and the video library. Um, and you also get immediate access to me and the community. Um, we've got a private Facebook community, which is really quite amazing and supportive. Lots of people in there. Currently, the membership is standing uh, at about 60 members, all at varying levels. So we've got some really um, long-standing members, some who have been there from the start, some have been in business for 16 years. Um, so if community is important to you, understanding, having a beautiful support network, um, having accountability, wanting to know what to do, when to do it, then Interiors Insider really is for you. You get a lot of access to me as well. So I'm here to support you. I'm all for women um, making choices, being independent, supporting themselves. So it's really important for me that uh, women, um, that I see you achieving as well. So, and that women get to do what they love and get paid for it and make money from it. I mean, at the end of the day, that's really my driver is into driving independent women um, to make money doing what they love and on your terms, really. So, you know, I was able to do this with three small children at home. And I know that you, you know, my business did start to um, get bigger as I got the kids off to school. And now my kids are, you know, graduating from high school. So it's been an amazing opportunity for me to do what I love whilst also being able to be a mum and, you know, being able to do this in school hours and kinder hours. So if that's something that appeals to you and you want to explore it, I'd love you to reach out. Um, I am going to send you a copy of this recording and also a link where you can join um, for the first month if you would like and get the first month free. So that offer is um, available till for the end of today. Um, so if you want to come in, send me a DM. I will send you the link. Um, and I would really love to see you on the other side. Look, you can come in and take the first month for free. And if it doesn't suit you or it's not what you're wanting, you can actually leave at any time. You need to give me 14 days notice. Um, and there is no questions asked, you can leave. But I do um, say that you probably need 12 months to get the full content. And 
members usually stay longer than 12 months. So, but I will leave that totally up to you. I'm going to send you a link with the all the details of the program and also the link to join and get one month free. I want to thank you so much for being here today. Oh, if you're listening to the replay, thank you so much for taking the time to listen. If I can be of service in any way, please reach out. Um, I am only a DM away on Insta. I hang out there all the time. And if you want to just even have a chat, have a chat. If you've got a question now, you may also ask if you like. Um, and I'll just stop sharing now uh, and just see if anyone wants to have a chat in the chat box. Um, you are so welcome, Sarah. Thank you for coming. And um, I'm going to send you the link. And if I can be of service to you, and if you think Interiors Insider is something that you'd like to explore, I'd love to see you in the membership as well. So thank you again. And I hope you found that really valuable and just a bit of an insight into me and get to know me as well. Um, and yeah, I'll send you the link and I hopefully will see you on the inside. Bye.